At 79 years old, Montana legend Tom Orr is taking it easier these days after a recent health scare. Well, at least it's pretty warm today. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice today and tomorrow. But slowing down isn't Tom's style. Yeah, at least it's warm enough so we don't have to worry about ice forming over our traps. And today, even though doctors are still closely monitoring his heart, he's back on the mountain. There's always somebody that wants to get rid of them damn beavers. They're flooding my basement. They're eating my fruit trees. Tom and Sean are answering the call of a local homesteader whose pond has been overrun by beaver. Looks like beaver country, mister. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Their mission is to cut down the beaver population. For their trouble, they get to keep what they catch. Yeah, well, this looks good, doesn't Yeah, it? this is nice looking. He wasn't lying. They're here, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, let's check up here. I think I hear a dam up here. These beavers, in order to live through the winter, they have to have deep water that won't freeze. I mean, if it freezes all the way to the bottom, they can't get out of their dens even to get to their food. So they, that's why beavers create dams. All right, let's get our waders Wait Wader up first. So the monitor and everything good, as long as we don't get her wet or whatever. Yeah, right? well, as long as they don't fall in, I guess. And if it, if it beeps on us or something, there's, you got. There's a couple little buttons you, you got to push. Push the buttons yeah. so it doesn't shock air or whatever? Yeah. OK. Yeah, I still wear a heart monitor 24 hours a day. I mean, I can take it off to shower for a half an hour in the evening. Otherwise, I have to wear it all the time. If my heart stops, yeah. If my heart stops, well, then it shocks me. OK. Just want to know what the, the procedures are there. It scares me to think of what might happen if I tumbled into the water with all this on. So I try to be real careful. But I, I, I'm not going to just sit around, you know? What's the plan here, mister? Well, grab some of these screens here and we'll, we're going to take them out and set them across the front part of this dam okay. and to block it off and then we're going to make entrances where the conibears bears are going to sit into them all right you got it benching off access along the length of the dam funnels the beaver into one corridor where they'll lay a trap all right go set, set some a traps. couple traps Well, that trap's all ready to fire there. Yeah. Tear some of that stuff out right in front of the... Right in front I, of the trap? No, on, on the dam. OK, So yeah. the water runs over the dam. Just tear the sticks and stuff out of there. So now the water level in the pond is going to start going down. And those beavers, they probably will hear that water rushing over their dam, and they're going to come to repair it. And when they come to repair it, the only way they can get to it is to swim right through these two easy swimming through channels to get to it. Hopefully, that's, that's what will catch the beavers. That's what trapping is, is trickery. Well, hold it a second. Oh. Tom's pushing his limits to portage around a fallen spruce. I'm sure my doctor probably wouldn't have liked to see me dragging the canoe up. But there's some things the guy's just got to do. While he's wired to a monitor that will jumpstart his heart if it stops, he's not sure of his limits. The snow helps her slide, huh? Yeah, it does. Piece of cake, Tom. We did it. 
Hold it right there, and I'll see you if I can get back in. You know, and I had Sean uh, help me. He did more than I did as far as it goes for pushing and pulling. Nope. All right, I, I made it. All right. We got a path worn out anyhow. Right. right. All good? You ready? Yep. The south side of the pond doesn't have a dam, but there's still plenty of sign of activity. There's a nice crossover right here. That's the spot there, isn't it? Should we do it? Sure. You want to go, go get some rock? Pick up some rocks in there. I am putting some weight, I'm just using rock here in this ground bag. We're going to do a foothold set on the bank there where Beaver climbs up to smell the little scent pile. But this ground bag here, they run out the wire, and this is what keeps them from getting eaten up by the eagles and whatnot. All right, guys, this is the trick. This is a, a scent mound or a caster mound, it's called. This is scent that come from a beaver, and we're gonna put that right there on that little mound. And what he'll wanna do, he'll wanna climb up on top of this pile and deposit some of his own scent on top of this to say, this is my pond. And when he does that, he should get caught in the trap and fear makes him head for the deep water to get away from whatever's got a hold on him and he'll slide down that cable out in the deep water and in less than four minutes, he should be drowned. With all their sets in play, the only thing to do now is wait. All right, should we work on back to the truck? Sure, let's kind of head on back down that way. All right. Yesterday, they laid a gauntlet of traps designed to rid this pond of nuisance beaver. That's what satisfies me is to go to check them traps and find out just how good you are at this. <laughs> hey, we got one. Hey, all right, man. Almost like you know what you're doing, Tom. Uh-huh. Youngster? Yep, just a young one. That means there's more in here. Sure. Let's pull that. Even a juvenile beaver is valuable, capable of hauling in nearly $800 once Tom transforms every last usable part into a sellable craft. Cool. Dump this one at the pickup and- Yep, and get the canoe and we'll go check the other one. It looks like we got one, buddy. Hey, hey. Yep. Yeah, wow, he's a big one, too. Yeah, look at that sucker. Let me see if I can. Little front leg, huh? Yep, good front leg catch. Dang, that's a big one. Two beaver is a good haul, but it's just a start. The traps will all be reset for round two. Now don't capsize a boat with that big old bugger. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, sir. We got him. It was well worth it, and it'll be a place that we'll be able to go back to every year. The more fur that we get, the more stuff we have to sell. Joe ought to be happy. Yeah, man. You got something out of here the first so day. Tom, come down here and trap some beavers, and look what you did. Yeah. Trap some beavers. Good work, man. I do believe that's a wrap. Let's go home and do some skinning. You got it.